Is the Biden administration preparing to declare that over half a million Jews are criminals? We're going to discuss that and more. See you on the other side. Welcome to Right Side In. I'm your host, Jeffrey Benzane. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember that we are 100% viewer supported, so please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with everybody you know. Now, by now, you are most likely aware of the ridiculous executive order that was recently issued by the Biden administration just last week, targeting Israeli settlers in Judea and Samaria, or what they call the West Bank. Okay, literally, the biblical ancestral homeland of the Jewish people. The Biden administration appears to be positioning to declare every single Jewish settler in Judea and Samaria as a criminal. And we already know that the international community considers the Israelis in Judea and Samaria, or what they call the West Bank, as being illegal squatters. But we're talking about the U.S. administration. Now look, if the if the Israeli government won't go along with this with these plans, they're going to do it anyway. They are absolutely positioning to unilaterally declare a Palestinian state. Now, obviously, that's something we're 100% against here at Right Side In and with Americans Against a Two State Solution. Right, that's our whole premise is trying to stop this nonsense from happening. But that's clearly what they're trying to do behind the scenes. So real quick, I'm going to bring up this executive order. I am not going to read this verbatim. If you have not done so, I certainly recommend that you head over to whitehouse.gov and read this for yourself. There's a, there's a few points here that we absolutely have to point out if, if you're not aware. But it is a little strange that a sitting president would issue such a national emergency and a declaration because of four individuals. Now they claim, erroneously, I might add, that there are particular high levels of extremist activity, extremist settler violence in the in what they call the West Bank, Judea, Samaria. And they say that this violence has reached intolerable levels and it constitutes a serious threat to the peace, security, and stability of the entire region. It appears that this executive order was published in time in preparation for a declaration by the United States of a Palestinian state. Let that sink in. It is no coincidence that just a day prior to the issuing of this order, Axios released a scoop that the State Department just happens to be reviewing their options in, de in establishing a Palestinian state. Just this week, we see that Secretary Blinken made yet another trip to the Middle East. And in his discussions with Saudi Arabia, look at the headlines from Reuters. They clearly stated that Saudi Arabia will have, will establish no ties with Israel without the recognition of a Palestinian state. The headline suggests that there will be no normalization ties if Israel does not recognize a Palestinian state. That's not what they said. <laughs> you read just a little bit into the article, and Riyadh clearly is calling for not Israel, but all of the permanent members of the UN Security Council to declare a Palestinian state. They are specifically telling Blinken, it is time for you to recognize this state, and until you do, there will be no normalization ties with Israel. Now, folks, this declaration could happen at any moment. Will the Biden administration have the chutzpah to actually declare the Palestinian state? Or actually the more likely scenario is that a new resolution is brought up to the UN Security Council and reversing decades of policy instead of vetoing the US just abstains. Now more than ever, we absolutely have to pick up the phone and call our representatives and tell them 
No way are we supporting a Palestinian state. Please head over to americansagainstatestatesolution.org, educate yourself on the issues, sign our petition, and become an ambassador. We need leaders. Step up, write your letter to your representatives, pick up the phone and call them and tell them enough is enough. This has got to stop. If Biden unilaterally declares a Palestinian state, the hundreds of thousands of Jews living in Judea and Samaria will become criminals. So this executive order is targeted towards any foreign person determined by who? The Secretary of State, the State Department. No judge, no jury, no. If in any way the, de the U.S. Department of State determines that you are undermining the peace, security, or stability of the region, you're guilty. And once you find yourself on this list, good luck getting off of it. Not only are you not allowed to direct or enact or, or implement anything that they say threatens the peace and security, but if you just fail to enforce their policy, you are guilty. The U.S. Department of State has just enlisted the entire Jewish population in Judea and Samaria to carry out their order. If you fail to enforce their policy, you're guilty. And that's not even the most insidious part of this executive order. According to the order, it is illegal for anybody to make any kind of donation by, to, or for the benefit of any person identified pursuant to this order. So if those people get thrown on the street and happen to set up a, a GoFundMe page or anything of the sort, it is illegal for you to donate one single penny to help those people. This is sick. No such executive order has ever been issued by a sitting president in the history of our country. And one last point. They absolutely have to ensure that they clear up any confusion. We can't have anybody confused about this order. They really did save the best last. This statement here is by far the most truthful statement in the entire order. But it clearly states that this executive order is not intended to, nor does it create any right or benefit to anybody. Well, I'd have to say we agree with that 100%. How do you find yourself on this list? Any actions that they consider to undermine the foreign policy objectives of the United States, which, by the way, includes a two-state solution. What this order is setting up and what a declaration of a Palestinian state will create is a situation far worse than what we've seen in Gush Katif in 2005. We could potentially be looking at the forced eviction of hundreds of thousands of Jews from Judea and Samaria. And if they refuse to go, they will be declared as criminals by the United States government. And as a U.S. citizen, you will not be able to help in any way, shape, or form. So who really is the State Department targeting? Anybody who they decide's actions undermine their foreign policy including the viability of a two-state solution. So what does that really mean? What it means is that if you don't agree with their godless worldview, and you have the audacity to believe in the Tanakh, the Hebrew Bible, or the Word of God, well, you're a right-wing extremist, and your views undermine the foreign policy of the United States. Ain't that nice? That is the world we live in. All right, thanks again for tuning in. We're going to keep a really close eye on these developments, and if, and if anything breaks, you can bet we're going to be releasing it here on this channel. And oh, by the way, we've got lots of things that we're working on behind the scenes to bring to the table, so... Some very exciting developments, some live streams, potentially 
uh, this month or leading into March that you're not going to want to miss. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so when new content drops, you're going to be the first to know. Thank you again. Please remember to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, pray for the IDF, and pray that every single hostage is returned safely. We'll see you next time.